Hi my friends, today we model this part with the name whistle shaft which has a coil at this end and uh, some other features but not so complicated. We have to take care with its dimensions. The source is from Timoteo Carrasotto and the part is this one with all dimensions but uh, not uh, the definition from, for the coil feature. This part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carrasotto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182. My drawing is this one and uh, we have to see that uh, the revolutions is 0 0.2, a fifth from a full revolution on a distance of 45. We start with this uh, coil. New standard millimeters IPT, new sketch on XY plane, a circle of 24 and some lines start from here. I keep press the left button for this arc and I go to the right. Trim this end, apply dimension of uh, one millimeter here, as in the drawing of course. And this is four divided by two and the vertical line is equal to the horizontal. As you can see, we have a fully constrained sketch, but we apply circular pattern for these three entities about this center, not six, but four. Then split the circle on each corner as you can see. Why? Because these uh, four arcs must be construction lines arcs. Finish sketch, coil, I select revolution and height not pitch and revolution as a method. Re revolution and height is uh, our option. Pitch and revolution is the default method. We are uh, expected to select an axis. The axis is Z. You see here Z. and we have here 0 0.2 and 45. Okay, this is the first volume. We must add the rest of the shaft. 284 is all the dimension and uh, the center point is right here so that we have to draw an axis with this length and to apply then uh, these two dimensions for the start. Okay. The plane is YZ F7 and we draw that 
axis 284 it must be center line it contains the center point and the distance from the left is 10 plus 45 lines I have to project this line and I apply collinearity between them. This is uh, an angle of 25 and 4 millimeters here. because 45 is already placed we have only two diameters to add 32 and 18 then line we go to the right slope and to the end okay dimensions in the drawing are four millimeters for this seventy from the right to seventy and two diameters. This is also eighteen. And this is 14. Finish sketch. Revolve. Axis is known. So we have the full shaft. We apply now this uh, chamfer then the hole at 10 millimeters diameter of 4 this is a chamfer 1 not 2 and we create a plane at minus 10 and an axis at the intersection of this plane with this that new plane you see here the axis this plane must not be visible neither this one but where is the axis ah this must be visible now we have visibility for this then we place a point on this face and this axis now you see the point is right here we can uh, use uh, this uh, point and this axis to apply that hole not threaded diameter of four through four millimeters i hide the axis where is the point 
where is the axis good now in practice from a technological point of view we need to use a tool here to create the extension of these four channels I made this here as you can see at both ends but uh, in the drawing of uh, Timoteo Carasotto we don't see that uh, ends let's create this uh, ending channels we select this face as a plane for a sketch then uh, F7 we draw a line from this point which contains also this point this will be the axis I make it uh, center line then we draw a perpendicular line perpendicular on this perpendicular And tangent we trim this end we draw a line over this one again trim here and we make this as a construction lines we draw a small arc here with the same radius as the one projected and now we have this we apply revolve with cut of course 108 degrees to this direction okay now I see that I made a mistake you see here 45 plus 14 and this uh, sketch has a uh, 55 which is wrong I delete this dimension I know that this is uh, forty five yes and this must be ten dimension between this point and this to be not six but ten yes you see here instead of ten to be like in the drawing we must place fourteen I changed this so that uh, now we have the good uh, dimension we work exactly like here I select this face F5 to have the same view I draw a line from this point to this point another line perpendicular and 
to this uh, line then to the arc and I place an arc here with the same radius as uh, the other one good this is uh, construction and this is center line finish sketch revolve cut the other direction of uh, 180 good now we have these two cuts one two which must be multiplied one two about this axis in uh, four instances not six okay let's see what about the material and but before the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click paste there is a small difference at the fourth rank I keep our result because this is what we did here I apply material which is uh, stainless steel and that's all thanks for watching bye bye